Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my first video of the year 2020. And uh, I just arrived at the Loch Lomond National Park again. And uh, it's probably gonna be a, quite a short trip. My goal is uh, to scout out this area that, that I uh, kind of spotted uh, while studying the Google Maps. And uh, I think I found uh, uh, quite a promising tiny spot by the lake here. It's quite a busy place, it seems like uh, there are quite a few people coming here. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. I think I uh, I walked around a bit, I think I've noticed a couple of kind of promising shots. Obviously it's not gonna be anything uh, phenomenal today. Uh, the sunrise happened like about an hour ago or so. So yeah, the, the light is quite uh, harsh and strong, so I don't expect anything super nice, but... I can still go out and take a few shots and and see if there is any uh, potential images for a future when they when I can come here with with a great light and cool weather conditions and so on. So yeah, that's the plan. Cameras in my hands and let's go out and explore this tiny place here by the lakeside, shall we? All right, there are quite a few people here, so it's gonna be fun for me to talk to camera, which I'm not looking forward to. Let's go and explore anyway. All right, so when I came here and the first thing I've noticed is this tree right in front of me. It looks kind of cool, although the, it's kind of backlit by the sun quite strongly and it's quite close to this uh, stone wall here. So I don't know if I'll be able to compose it without getting that wall in this shot. So I got my 16 to 35 lens and let's see if I can find an interesting composition here. Right, it's definitely a tricky place to photograph this tree. I do like it, but I quite like this uh, rock, as you see here, like uh, right on the, this tiny beach. Uh, I would like to include it as a foreground element tr while trying to photograph that tree over there but if I get if I get the as you see if I get the rock any way that I like I kind of cut the top of the tree and it's not that particularly compelling composition but if I raise my camera to include the tree and I'm zoomed all the way out at 16 mil then I lose most of the uh, I lose most of the of, of this rock so I guess I'm gonna have to sort of be satisfied with the fact that I'm gonna lose that I'm gonna lose that rock and I, I, I mean I, I can definitely try like a, a a vertical composition and it works a little bit better but I also would like to have a uh, landscape orientation image I would prefer but it's not gonna work I guess if I get low down like really now I'm completely laying on the ground but then you have all these branches from the left hand side getting into the shot um, my have to remove them in Photoshop and uh, if I'll try to photograph from another side then it's no good either 
because all, there are some trees and branches and stuff some logs as you see and they get into my shot it's not really that nice or compelling image I think that the other side is much better it's not backlit this now but it's not as nice as the previous shot oh well I guess I'm gonna have to be content with the one that I have okay so let's go a bit further away and try to capture I think there is a nice shot with the distant mountains uh, that are that have a little tiny bits and pieces of snow on top of them so let's see if I can get an interesting shot of the peaks really beautiful day today so let's see if I can capture these mountains in a distance I'll try to so basically what I'm trying to do, instead of just having this plain simple composition, I'm trying to include these branches, just kind of like a frame within a frame. Let's see if I can get a shot. I'm I think it's a nice, quite a decent shot. What I would like to do is to probably switch my lenses 24 to 70 and have uh, these mountains a bit closer to, to me. I want to zoom uh, a little bit closer in because uh, now I'm zoomed in all the way at 35 mil and these peaks are too far away. It's still a nicer composition, but I'd like to, uh, a different version of it. So let's give it a shot. Okay, let's get my lens changed here quickly. Now let's go back and see if I can improve the composition. Uh, zoomed a little bit more and trying to make the, the peak in the distance a bit more prominent in the composition. I'm back at the beach. Holy moly, a bit slippery here. Okay, let's zoom in at at 70 mil, and let's try again. Try to include all these branches up top. It's going all right. Right, I think that's gonna be it, I got what I wanted. Alright, I think I got what I wanted. I think there are a couple, uh, at least two quite nice compositions in this particular spot although i think that tree that you saw me trying to photograph just a minute ago i think that's more like a either blue hour or a sunset location not a sunrise because it's quite strongly backlit by the rising sun right now and it's uh, i'm not sure that's a compelling composition and i'm not sure this is the best uh, lighting conditions uh, for this particular composition so yeah i guess i'm gonna have to uh, come here uh, either at sunrise at sunset and then wait a little bit uh, once the sun goes down just behind these distant mountains and wait for the blue hour and see which one of these moments work best for that tree and that uh, another composition with the uh, mountains i mean uh, 
it's hard to it's it's probably it's pro it's definitely a sunrise shot so yeah this is that would be like a a whole day uh, i would have to spend a whole day like from the sunrise till sunset here trying to properly capture both of these compositions although i would say that tree is a bit more interesting to me than the distant mountains is so i guess that's gonna be uh, a wrap for today i feeling good now after last week's uh cold and finally i'm feeling like i am I going back to my business again so yeah just waiting for some uh, a lot more snow uh, up north in, in the mountains because i'm just kind of itching to go and do some uh, winter camping trips and things like that uh, and so far it's it hasn't been great this winter is quite warm and e even if we get a little bit of snow up north it, in a day or two it's all gone so yeah it's not great but fingers crossed that uh, we'll get like a big dump of snow and some uh, several weeks of uh, cold chilly weather up there so that i'll finally get an opportunity to go out and do my stuff and have some adventure so yeah uh, i hope you enjoyed this uh, really short uh, quick outing here just by the by the lakeside and uh, if so if you enjoyed uh, these uh, a couple of nice images then do consider subscribing share drop a comment and i'll see you on the next one peace